Hey guys, so I'm here with a new video. Tried to switch up the location again. I'm just in my dining room floor. How fun is that? I've actually filmed a video here before, but I was kind of a little over that way, and it was my concert tag. That was my first ever non-vlog on this channel, which is great. Anyway, so I hope you all enjoyed that little video I posted yesterday, which I haven't posted yet because I just filmed it. It's weird. Um, anyway, so I hope you all also enjoyed the YouTube tag that I posted. I'm very proud of it, actually, and I would love for you to go check it out. So if you want to do that, go. It's somewhere probably down there. I don't know. It's somewhere. Just, yeah. But, um, real quickly, I said this in the vlog yesterday, but in case you did not see it, thank you for subscribing to me. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys and interact with you guys, so please don't hesitate to ever message me on here. Comment below. Add me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. I'll follow you back. There's Tumblr, Instagram, you name it. Um, well, that's really it. But if you go down there, they're down there. But, let's get into the topic. The title says insecure insecurities. That was last week. Sorry guys, it's been a long week. <sighs> the title says procrastination and I decided to do this as a topic because so many college students and I believe high schoolers even are taking some midterms right now. Uh, midterms are not fun but there are a test right in the middle of the term. Oh, midterm. It makes sense, right? <laughs> okay guys, I need to be serious in this video. Or try. Procrastination is horrible. Let's be honest. It's like our worst enemy, uh, especially a col or college, high school senior. It is our worst enemy. I am not a high school senior. Senior? Senior. Can't talk today. Like I said, it's been a long week. Um, I'm distracted by a bird. Uh, <laughs> I've been a high school senior. I am currently a sophomore in college, but I have been a high school senior, so I know what it is like to be like, oh my gosh, it's almost over, and not want to do the work, want to do enough to get by. And let's be honest, my senior year was easy breezy because I had lack of classes. However, junior year was hard. I really struggled with junior year. I got by, but that's all I did was get by. And you need to do more than just get by. You need to actually study, which I don't know how many, I could probably count on one hand how many times I actually studied. Sad, and that should not be the case at all. You should honestly study. You should not do the homework the night before or in class before the teacher comes in. And I am saying this from the bottom of my heart. I'm not saying, oh, you're a horrible person if you do it. Just try not to do it. It's it's bad if you. It's... Okay, procrastination. We all do it. Let's face that. We all do it. Every single one of us. If you don't do it, you're lying. Because everybody does it. But here's the thing. We need to not do it as much. Why? Because when we do something at the last minute, I don't cuss, so when you half, you half butt it. You just do half, you do half the potential you have when you do it at the last minute. Because if you were to do it on time, you would have all the potential that you have and you'd focus on it and then you'd be like, oh, Tumblr, trust me. I have wrote a paper once, no joke, and went to go to Google and type in something and randomly be on Tumblr and I'm just like, how did I get here? Honest to truth, it has happened. It's weird. I keep saying that. Anyway, so try not to procrastinate as much. We all do it, it's human. But I'm here to tell you, try not to. Like, try with all your heart. If you have these bad habits of procrastinating, like hardcore in high school or even middle school, they're gonna follow you to college, and that is the place where you do not, I repeat, do not want to procrastinate. Because when you have so many hours, I am just doing the minimum to be a full-time student, but it's still hard. But what I want to get out is that you have to study. You have you can't just go out and do stuff. You have to have you can you have to be a quote nerd. But you're not a nerd because if you are doing it. You are gonna have the free time when nobody else does. And that's what you want. It's because if somebody's like, so and so, hey, Carrie, you wanna go do this? And you're like, oh, I can't. I really have to do this essay that's due tomorrow. And it's like, you were given that essay like a week ago. It's like, yeah, I know, but I didn't do it until right now. So you can't go out and have fun. You gotta do that essay. But if, if the tables were turned, 
dog is barking and wants in. So you have to dedicate yourself. You can't just not do the work. So do not procrastinate. Uh, that's what it comes down to you. And I know if I tell you not to, it's still going to happen. And I, who am I to tell you what to do? I'm just trying to help. That's why I'm here. That's why I make Advice Fridays. I'm just trying to help. I'm not trying to tell you to live your life this way and live your life that way or you're a bad person. No, I'm just here to try to help you. I'm trying to be a guiding hand on this roller coaster we call life, if you will. But I just want you all to know that you can not procrastinate. It's possible. Um, maybe not procrastinate as much. You know, it's just if you are a junior, you that's the year. That year you have history, you have your last math. You know, they changed that. I think they changed it back then, senior time. But anyway, you really, junior year is the year that you do. That year counts a lot. You take the ACT or the SAT, and it's just, that's the year. And it's horrible because then senior year allows you to get lazy. Trust me, I got lazy. Big time. And that is not good. You need, I've talked about this, I believe in, I don't know which video, but I talked about this in one of them. Don't let senior year make you lazy. Honestly, do not do it. And I'm trying not to talk with my hands too much. But honestly, just don't let it make you lazy because you really have to still dedicate yourself. You know, if you're in AP classes, you don't really have time to, you know, take it easy. However, you just need to still not procrastinate. You need to do that AP essay or whatever when it, like, start working on it when it's assigned. Don't start it the day before or the class before. You just, you have to dedicate yourself. And if you're gonna dedicate yourself, you will go far. And back to what I kinda said in the beginning, you have the potential to do it. We all have potential. I know it sometimes seems like, oh, I don't have potential, but we all do. And if you need help finding that potential inside of you, let me help. And I will gladly do that for you. But honestly, if you put force, force, put forth all the potential that you truly have, you could go to the moon. I mean, we've done it. I mean, if somebody would have just given up, where would we be right now? Like, would you be watching this video? Probably not. Would I be talking to a camera? Would there be a camera? Probably not. I mean, it's just, it's crazy to think about that, you know, because of people putting forth all their potential. We have the things we have. And, you know, you could be the next one to provide something that changes the world, you know? And you have to put forth all of it. You can't just put forth some of it on a half but written essay, put all your heart into that essay, put all of your potential, you can do it, I believe in you, and I know it's so much easier said than done because I am guilty, I need to listen to myself right now, but honest the truth, you guys, you can do it, I believe in you, you can do it, don't procrastinate as much, honestly, try not to procrastinate as much, and then maybe get down to no procrastination at all. That'd be great. But I know it's hard because you have other classes and it's just, it, it's hard. I, I'm not saying it's easy. Because it's not easy to me either. I don't think I shared this fully with you guys, but I had to sit out last semester, if you're not aware, I had to do that because of my grades, because of my lack of work ethic. And I had to write a letter to the school and be like, I will do better. I will work harder. And I am doing that. I have received two A's on two of my papers. This last paper, honestly, I don't know about, but I did work hard on it. <sighs> you know, you working hard, even if you get a C, at least you know you put forth the effort, the most effort you know you could. Um, that's something my dad used to say to me as a kid. Like, he's like, if you tried your hardest, it's okay. I mean, he didn't want me to have B's or F's, but if he if he knew that I truly, truly put as much hard work into it as I could, and that was still my result, then he 
was okay with it. I mean, like I said, no D's, no F's, but it's just, if I, in you know, you can try better than that, but you're not. You have to put forth that hard work, and you know, I listened, sort of. I mean, honestly, though, we all do it. I've already said this, but we all do it. If you don't do it, you're, you're kidding yourself. And it's crazy because if we don't cut the habit now, it's gonna follow you to college, and then it's gonna follow you into your work field, and you cannot let that happen. Work field, you'll get fired. College, they'll kick you out. High school, they help you out a little bit. But I'm not here to scare you. I'm just here to help you. So with that being said, don't procrastinate, guys. Don't do it. Don't, 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 don't do it. I have procrastinated before with making videos, and that's not good because I don't get it up to you guys till like 11 o'clock. And I don't like to do that to you guys. So this guy, this guy, this video is about over. I don't know what else to say besides so don't procrastinate. I feel like I need to redo this video. Ugh, my head hurts. It's been hurting all week, literally. But I want to say thank you again for all your support. Comment below what subject you procrastinate the most in. For me, currently, it's probably history, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Comment below which subject you procrastinate the most in. In school, it was probably math. Thank you so much for watching, and yeah, bye guys!